For in her academy's elders were seated at the bottom of the blazing sky chi refining tower. Their eyes were slightly shut. Between the four of them was, coincidentally, the deep hole that led into the magma world. The soft sound of rushing wind suddenly appeared from the deep hole. The eyes of the four elders suddenly opened at the same time. Immediately, their gazes focused on the deep hole, and the Do Chi within their bodies involuntarily began to flow. During the time that the four elders waited solemnly, a black figure suddenly flashed out before gently landing on the ground. The eyes of the four people drifted over. Only then did they softly sigh in relief. After which, they smiled and cupped their hands to that person. The one who had exited the deep hole was naturally Xiao Yin. He courteously smiled to four elders. Su Qian also rushed out of the deep hole soon after Xiao Yin had exited from it. The four elders sighed in relief when they saw this. They also knew the level of danger in the magma world below. Hence, they were afraid that Su Qian might have met with an accident within. First elder, take out the flame gathering pot and try to see if it has any effect. There is no need to rush for this bit of time because of the matter of Han Feng. Xiao Yin looked at Su Qian who had landed steadily. He did not hurry to gather helpers. Instead, he gave a faint smile and gave a suggestion. Su Qian smiled and nodded when he heard this. He tossed his hand. The flame gathering pot shot out of his storage ring and slowly landed in front of the four elders. He smiled and said, All of you practice fire affinity chi methods. Pour your dochi into it and see just how much heart flame can be stimulated. The four elders exchanged glances after looking at the flame gathering pot in front of them. They did not hesitate much. The fingers of the four of them touched the body of the pot. After which, they shut their eyes slightly and powerful dochi within their bodies flowed into the flame gathering pot like flood water. For fire affinity, dochis of different shades poured into the flame gathering pot like trickling streams. After which, the dochi swirled slightly before charging into the fallen heart flame. Following the entry of the dochi, the infant fallen heart flame's surface suddenly erupted and formed a wave of intense light. It appeared like a huge piece of rock thrown at the calm surface of a lake. Circular invisible ripples swiftly spread out from the flame gathering pot. These invisible waves curled and rose. Finally, they penetrated the tower one level at a time and encompassing the entire blazing sky chi refining tower within it. At this moment, the many students who were quietly training within the blazing sky chi refining tower suddenly opened their eyes. Their hands involuntarily rubbed their chests. A wave of hot heart flame had suddenly appeared there. Some of the older students within the inner academy were not foreign to this heart flame because they had enjoyed the benefits of this kind of refinement before. However, that benefit was lost ever since the heart flame of the inner academy was exhausted. Originally, they had thought they might not be able to enjoy that kind of treatment until they had graduated. Much to their joy, however, it had quietly returned. The Blazing Sky Chi Refining Tower is able to produce a heart flame again. After the entire Blazing Sky Chi Refining Tower experienced some initial surprise, the information of the Blazing Sky Chi Refining Tower being revived was like a breeze that spread from the tower. It spread across the entire inner academy at a frightening speed. Within a short while, all of the students became jovial. The inner academy with the Blazing Sky Chi Refining Tower was the true inner academy. Even though Xiao Yin and the others were at the bottom of the tower, they were still able to hear the many cheers that were transmitted through the tower. Immediately, Xiao Yin exchanged glances with Su Qian, and the two of them sighed in relief, appearing as though they had just released a heavy burden. Looks like it is indeed effective, Su Qian exclaimed. His gaze immediately slid to the four elders and teased, Looks like we will have to trouble these elders from our inner academy who practice fire affinity Do Qi in the future. However, the speed at which this little thing absorbs Do Qi is not very fast. Most of the elders are able to endure it. The four elders involuntarily and bitterly smiled. They shook their heads when they heard Su Qian's words. It was likely that they will force to be a long-term meal ticket for the fallen heart flame within this flame-gathering pot. Su Qian laughed heartily when he saw the bitter faces of these four elders. He waved his hand at Xiao Yin before walking to the exit. He spoke while walking, I will go and inform the other elders who practice fire affinity Do Qi. In the future, all of you might have to take turns and come here. Kuh -kuh, just treat it as training. Only with depletion will there be growth. This also benefits all of you. 
By the time Su Qian finished his words, he had already exited through the door. Xiaoyan behind him waved his hand pitifully at the four elders and hurriedly followed. After all, he was also a practitioner of fire affinity qi method. Xiaoyan and Su Qian walked out of the bottom of the tower. Along the way, they sensed the atmosphere of the blazing sky qi refining tower had become fiery hot again and traffic soared. They let out smiles. The revival of the blazing sky qi refining tower was really a joy that had descended from the sky to these students. After all, with the heart flame to refine the dochi within their bodies, their training speed would be able to increase. After exiting the blazing sky qi refining tower, Su Qian led Xiao Yin and hurried to the elders' meeting room in the deeper region of the inner academy. He had already dispatched an elder to invite the little fairy doctor and the others over for the issue of gathering helpers. By the time Xiao Yin and Su Qian arrived at the meeting room, the little fairy doctor, Zi Yin, Xiao Li, and some of the experts from Xiao Gate were already seated within. The large group looked at Xiao Yin who had entered and some surprise was revealed in their eyes. Little fellow, you have finally come out. Xiao Li took the lead to stand up and say something to Xiao Yin with a smile. Xiao Yin grinned and nodded to Xiao Li. After which, he found a seat beside the little fairy doctor and Zi Yin. His gaze swept over these large and small beauties before teasingly saying, After not seeing you for a couple of months, it seems that the both of you have become even prettier. Chi, don't think some nice words can eliminate the great sin of you tossing us aside to look for fun by yourself. Zi Yin curled her small mouth and sneered without giving Xiao Yin face. Senior head, Xiao Yin was unable to laugh or cry as he shook his head. His hand rubbed the top of this little fellow's head. After which, his eyes found the little fairy doctor who was smiling quietly. His voice was gentler as he said, Have you been alright during these few months? The matter that he was speaking about was naturally the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body. It's alright. I am temporarily still able to suppress it. The little fairy doctor pulled and parted a strand of snow-like hair from above her forehead as she softly spoke. Her grayish-purple moving eyes rotated to Xiao Yin. Surprise flashed across her eyes. You have advanced again? Xiao Yin smiled and nodded. The little fairy doctor's strength was even greater than first elder Su Qian's. She was naturally able to see through the change in his aura. Asterisk cough asterisk. If you want to engage in a private conversation, you can do so when you are free. Now, we should first discuss the important matters. Xiao Li involuntarily and dryly coughed. He then started speaking when he saw Xiao Yin and the little fairy doctor muttering to each other. The entire hall immediately emit laughter when Xiao Li's words sounded. Xiao Yin was still all right, but a faint alluring blush surfaced on the pale face of the little fairy doctor before she could stop it. Is there any activity on Han Feng's side now? Xiao Yin also withdrew his attention. His face was somewhat solemn as he asked. That fellow is extremely cunning. Originally, I had thought that he would have fled the Black Corner region. It is unexpected that he would hide in the Demon Flame Valley. Xiao Li knit his brows and said, The Demon Flame Valley is an old faction within the Black Corner region. Although their strength has been greatly reduced with the death of the old ground demon ghost, Fong Yin, and the other two elders, they still cannot be underestimated. Han Feng has taken advantage of the Demon Flame Valley while they lacked a leader. He used his connections within the Black Corner region and can be considered to have control of the Demon Flame Valley. Moreover, according to my last test information, Han Feng is quietly contacting some of the Black Corner region factions whom he had a good relationship with the intention of forming an alliance. Even that Black Emperor sect, Old Man Ying Shan are all included in the invitation. Xiao Yan was stunned when he heard this. He immediately and coldly laughed. This fellow is really a grasshopper who refuses to rest no matter what. He always wishes to create trouble. This Han Feng is wildly ambitious. He had put in great pains to establish his old connections within the Black Corner region. Although he was defeated by you a couple of times, he has currently reached the Dozong strength. His summoning ability within the Black Corner region has not been reduced by even a little. If we were to really allow him to form an alliance with these factions within the Black Corner region, it is likely that they will be a great threat to the Jianan Academy and Xiao Gate. Su Qian spoke in a deep voice, on our side, we have only two genuine elite Dozong, namely the little fairy doctor and I. The elder Qian and elder Bai within the inner academy will never act on this kind of matter. Their mission is to protect the Jianan Academy from being destroyed. Therefore, 
we will have to rely on ourselves for everything else. Hence, we must not allow the alliance with the other factions in the Black Corner region to succeed. Otherwise, they would have the opportunity to turn things around. Shaoli sinisterly continued. Shaoyan quietly nodded. His finger gently tapped the table. A moment later, he slowly asked, When will he invite these factions? Shaoyan lowered his chin slightly. His body gently leaned on the backrest as he faintly said, Second brother, maneuver all the experts from Shaogate. Additionally, dispatch someone to make contact with the factions that have a good relationship with Shaogate. Ask them to dispatch some experts. Tomorrow, all of us will head to the Demon Flame Valley. This time, I want to make sure that Han Feng will be unable to come back. Shaoli nodded his head when he heard this. The corner of his mouth was parted into a savage smile as he said, The Demon Flame Valley has a deep enmity with our Shao Gate. This time around, we can eliminate them together and allow the other factions within the Black Corner region to know that not anyone can offend our Shao Gate. The Demon Flame Valley and the Jia Nan Academy's relationship is absolutely irreconcilable. This time around, the Academy will dispatch all of its experts. We must completely eliminate them at their roots. A ruthlessness also flashed through Su Qian's eyes. Quite a number of the Jian An Academy students had been killed by the Demon Flame Valley during their outside training over the years. The relationship between both parties had long reached an unmendable stage. Xiaoyan nodded. He slowly stood up and threw his gaze in the direction of the Demon Flame Valley. A dense smile surfaced on his young face. Everything should come to an end. The next day, on a small mountain peak not far from the peace town of the Jianan Academy, one would occasionally see flashing human figures within the dense forest. There were a couple of withered trees within the forest along with some flowers and grasses. The air was also very fresh. Over ten human figures stood facing the wind on the mountain peak. The wild wind that blew over was unable to cause the clothes of these human figures to flutter even a little. The ten-plus people quietly stood as the roaring wind smashed against their faces. However, not a single person moved because of this. All of them stood quietly. The faint pressuring aura that was emitted caused the mountain peak to be completely silent. A black-robed, young man stood at the leader's spot. His eyes were shut while his hands were placed behind him. A long while later, his ears suddenly moved and he faintly said, They're here. They're finally here. Over ten black spots suddenly appeared in the horizon not long after Xiaoyan's voice sounded. In merely a couple of blinks, these black spots turned into human figures that rushed over. They only gradually reduced their speed when they were a short distance from the mountain peak. After which, they slowly descended from the sky. Ha ha ha, Chief Xiao. It has been a couple of years since we last met. Are you still well? The ten plus human figures rushed down. The leader who had laughed out loud was a strong man with a naked upper body that emitted a fierceness. Chief Tai's might is not inferior when compared to back then. One can hardly find anyone in the Black Corner region who has such an imposing presence. Xiao Yin looked at this chief of the Wild Lion Gang, Wu Tai, who had once cooperated with him to deal with the Misty Clouds sect, before cupping his hands. He spoke with a smile. Whose imposing manner can compare with Chief Xiao? Currently, who in the Black Corner region, does not know that chief that has not only relied on himself to kill the three great elders of the Demon Flame Valley, but also caused the old ground demon ghost to be unable to return. TSK TSK, that is an expert who was a seven-star dozo. He is basically an unmatchable existence within this Black Corner region. In the end, even such an expert had died in Chief Zhao's hands. Looks like this Black Corner region will likely belong to Xiao Gate in the future a red-dressed pretty lady by the side, who was emitting enchantment throughout her body, covered her mouth and laughed in a lovely bewitching manner. That laughter contained some passion. This pretty woman was naturally not foreign to Xiao Yin. She was the chief of Luo Shagate whom he had also cooperated with before. She was an extremely beautiful woman who had a viciousness under this lovely body of hers. TSK TSK, the current Xiao Gate has only been established for a few short years. Yet, it has already reached this stage. It is really the fastest rising faction that the old me has seen. Chief Zhao's credit for this naturally cannot be denied. An old man who had a somewhat shadowy face also smiled and agreed. Chief Su and Olding really knows how to joke. These are all mere false rumors, Xiao Yin slightly smiled. His gaze swept over this group of people as his face became slightly stern. 
A voice that was not very loud clearly sounded within everyone's ears. I think that everyone should also be aware of the intention of inviting everyone here. Since everyone is willing to come, all of you have already taken your stance. Among those present includes friends who have cooperated with Xiao Yan back then. Naturally, all of you should know my character. As long as this matter is successful, the reward will definitely be to everyone's satisfaction. The group of experts who had been invited over immediately smiled and replied courteously after Xiao Yan's words sounded. With Xiao Yan's current reputation within the Black Corner region, all of them did not dare to slight him. This was because they also clearly understood that Xiao Yan was also a Tier 6 alchemist. The value of being able to let him owe them a favor was quite great. Currently, the Demon Flame Valley was already declining. In the future, it would likely be difficult for it to contend with Xiao Gate. Lending a hand at this moment would undoubtedly win some favor from Xiao Gate. Hence, most of the experts present did not take much time to think after receiving the invitation from Xiao Gate before they quickly hurried over. Everyone should also clearly understand the beginning to the end of the story. I shall not say anything unnecessary. The grudge between Xiao Gate and the Demon Flame Valley is extremely deep. Han Feng and I are also enemies. Hence, the matter today will not end peacefully. Everyone should prepare themselves, Xiao Yan spoke in a deep voice. Kuk Chief Xiao, you can rest assured. The usual arrogance and high-handedness has long been an eyesore to us. Today, we will borrow the wind of Xiao Gate to teach these bastards a lesson. That's right. Han Feng is a hypocrite. Back then, he harmed many people in an indiscernible manner. The old me had been backstabbed a couple of times. Xiao Yin turned his head slightly and exchanged looks with Xiao Li after hearing the voices seeking a crusade against the Demon Flame Valley and Han Feng. A smile flashed across his eyes. These fellows were really quick to jump on the bandwagon. However, they were at the very least some help. With their aid, the Demon Flame Valley would likely truly be eliminated from the Black Corner region. All right. It is already quite late. Let's start moving. Xiao Yin looked at the sky before interrupting the voices seeking a crusade. After which, he turned his head and waved his hand to the forest. One could immediately hear some clattering sound as dozens of human figures rushed out of the forest. Finally, they flapped their wings and remained in the air. Xiao Yin softly exhaled. A pair of crystal clear bone wings extended from his back. He flapped them slightly and his body swiftly rose into the air. Seeing this action of Xiao Yin, Xiao Li, and the others hurriedly got up. Only the little fairy doctor and Su Qian were casual and cool among the group. Their feet stepped on the empty air and walked. The ability of an elite Do Zong to walk in the air really caused others to be envious. When Su Mei and the other experts saw the little fairy doctor and Su Qian walk in the air in this manner, their hearts shook violently. They exchanged gazes with one another and quietly muttered, as expected. Currently, there were a total of two Do Zone class experts on Xiao Yan's side. Adding this to his own frightening strength, that seriously did not tally with his level, it was likely that the three of them would be able to block three elite Do Zones. This lineup, it seemed that the Demon Flame Valley was completely finished. Sumei and the others did not dare to slack off as this thought flashed in their hearts. They hurriedly summoned their Do Chi wings and rushed to the sky. Seeing that everyone was prepared, Xiao Yan's expression also became slightly stiff. He waved his hand and his body took the lead, transforming into a blurry figure that rushed toward the direction of the Demon Flame Valley. A large group of figures followed close behind. A wave of faint killing intent spread out. The Demon Flame Valley was located in an enormous valley within a mountain range in the northern part of the Black Corner region. The size of this valley was not smaller than a city. It was filled with a large population. Most of the people were external members of the Demon Flame Valley. Those who could become the members of the Inner Valley were mostly elites that were specifically selected from the former group. Normally speaking, the Inner Group consisted of only 10% of the external members. Even though this was the case, it still caused the Demon Flame Valley to be filled with people. Although it had existed for a long time, it had continued to flourish within the Black Corner region. Of course, the greatest reason for this was naturally because of the existence of the old ground demon ghost. Possessing a seven-star elite Do Zone, the Demon Flame Valley had the capital to contend against the Black Corner region. The precondition of this, however, was that Xiao Yin did not appear. Compared to the arrogance and bossiness of the past, the current Demon Flame Valley had undoubtedly kept a much lower profile. 
Having lost their strongest few experts, the strength of the Demon Flame Valley within the Black Corner region had difficulty supporting their unafraid roaming nature. However, a camel that was about to die was still larger than a horse. Regardless of how the Demon Flame Valley had declined, it still possessed quite the capital. Even though the old ground demon ghost and the three great elders had died, they were still able to survive within the Black Corner region, especially with the appearance of Han Fong. He allowed the Demon Flame Valley to recover some strength. An elite Dozong possessed an important position and influence no matter where one was. This was especially the case when this Dozong was quite a high-tiered alchemist. It must be said that Han Feng in the past had a reputation that an ordinary person had difficulty matching in the Black Corner region. By taking out the former Pill Emperor name, he had basically attracted many people with different intentions. Even a powerful faction like the Black Emperor sect was successfully invited by him. It must be said that the tenaciousness of this fellow in the Black Corner region was indeed something that an ordinary person would have difficulty matching. The enormous mountain valley appeared as though it had been dug from a mountain. The surroundings of the valley were filled with deep black rocks with a gold-like luster faintly flickering on them. They were the black metal rock, which were extremely tough. Even an elite Do Wong would have difficulty shattering them. Looking at the dense black rocks, it appeared that this mountain rage was a mineral vein. The headquarters of the Demon Flame Valley was located in this place. While the entrance to the valley had descended into a noisy area, the open ground deep within the valley was filled with a large number of experts and factions with great names from the Black Corner region. Han Fong occupied the leader's seat in the middle of the open ground. His face was filled with smiles as he observed the open ground, which had every seat filled. At this moment, he seemed to have returned to the brilliance and pride when he was Pill Emperor back then. Xiao Yin, the grudge between you, and I will be settled very soon. At that time, I will definitely get you to hand over the flame mantra to me obediently. A young figure flashed across his mind. Han Feng's grip on his teacup suddenly tightened. A ruthless and savage smile flashed across his eyes. While Han Feng was laughing ferociously in his heart, the large group of unwanted guests led by Xiao Yin quietly arrived. A large battle was about to erupt. There was not a single empty seat on the entire open ground. Dozens of various sized people were present. Some were old men with white hair over their heads and some were well-endowed women. Of course, most of them were young men in their thirties. The only thing that was the same was that they were emitting an expert aura from their bodies. Even though they were sitting quietly, they were not people whom others could underestimate. Most of those who were able to sit in this place were experts and factions that possessed a great reputation within the Black Corner region. In this place where strength was respected, even the seating arrangement was determined by strength. On the left and right side of Han Feng sat Mo Tian Xing from the Black Emperor sect and Olding Shan who had fought with Xiao Yin for the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva. At this moment, the two of them had shut their eyes. They ignored the surrounding people. Their calm and indifferent manner caused ordinary people to be afraid of striking up a conversation with them. With the strength of these two people, no one dared to have any objection to them sitting in the leader's seat. Other than the old ground demon ghost, who had already been destroyed, it was likely that these two old fellows were the strongest within the Black Corner region. Of course, the size of the Black Corner region was quite large. No one knew if there was some old demon, who had never shown himself, hidden within the deep mountains or ancient forests. After all, some genuine expert in this world always liked to do such a thing. Below Mo Tian Xing and Old Ing Shan were some of the leaders of renowned factions within the Black Corner region. Some of these people had a good relationship with Han Feng while others were remaining neutral. However, due to the influence of Han Feng and his strength, they had no choice but to come and join this so-called Grand Gathering. Other than some of the experts from the Demon Flame Valley beside Han Feng on the leader's seat, there were also some familiar faces. The so-called Gold Silver Elders were the ones most recognizable. These two fellows had a grudge with Xiao Yin because of Han Feng. It was natural that they were extremely willing to join the Demon Flame Valley the moment that they got Han Feng's invitation. They knew Han Feng extremely well. Although this fellow was ruthless and vicious, he was indeed skilled in medicinal refinement. One would not lose out by following him. Moreover, the current Han Feng was already in elite Dozong with a strength that far exceeded them. Hence, these two old fellows were not opposed to submitting to him. 
Instead, they were somewhat joyful that they had found support. Coo 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 coo, please forgive me if there is any delay in inviting everyone to come this time around. Han Fong smiled and chatted with some familiar faces before raising his head to glance at the sky. After which, his gaze swept over the open ground, opened his mouth, and faintly laughed. The somewhat noisy open ground immediately became quiet when they heard Han Fong open his mouth to speak. Numerous gazes turned to the main character today, Han Fong. Han Fong appeared to enjoy being the focus of attention. His face carried a smile. A moment later, he finally said, Cuckoo, the main reason I have invited everyone here today is to discuss some matters with everyone. I think that everyone should understand that the Black Corner region has always been at odds with the Jianan Academy. The number of Black Corner region people who have been killed by the Jianan Academy's law enforcement unit each year is not a small amount. Hence, both parties do indeed have some enmity that cannot be reconciled. I think everyone seated here should have heard about the matter some time ago. The Demon Flame Valley's ground demon ancestor has been killed by the Jianan Academy. Han Feng's face was somewhat dark when he spoke until this point. Some of the experts from the Demon Flame Valley also had faces that were filled with a dark and dense fury. Currently, the Demon Flame Valley and the Jianan Academy had a blood feud. Both parties wished to destroy the other. Everyone in the open ground exchanged looks with each other. Their faces changed a little. They had indeed heard this news. However, they still felt shock when they heard it personally from Han Feng. The old ground demon ghost was an ultimate expert who was at the Seven Star Do Zone class. He could be said to be an existence that lacked an opponent within the entire Black Corner region. It was unexpected that he ended up being killed by the hands of the Jianan Academy. The hands of Imo Tian Xing and Olding Shan who had been expressionless and acted indifferently, also involuntarily trembled under their sleeves when they heard these words. Fear flashed across their eyes. Their information was naturally even keener than an ordinary faction. Hence, they also understood what exactly happened back then. It is unexpected that Old Qian and Old Bai, these two old demons, are hiding in the inner academy. This old ground demon ghost can be said to have collided into the tip of a spear. However, it is rumored that this old fellow was first seriously injured by a frightening Do skill that Xiao Yan had used. Otherwise, with his strength, it should definitely not be a problem for him to flee even if he could not defeat Old Xian and Old Bai. Looks like this little fellow hides very deeply. Emo Tian Xing's hand caressed the warm teacup and muttered to himself. If not for the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva, the old me really doesn't wish to place my intention on that little fellow. That fellow is clearly the type who acts like a harmless pig to eat a tiger. Olding Sean also knit his brows slightly as he used a soft voice, only audible to him, to sigh. The strength of the Jianan Academy has far exceeded our understanding. Moreover, they have always disliked the Black Corner region. Currently, the Demon Flame Valley has been badly hurt by them. I will say something awful. If they were to strike another faction presently seated, it is likely that none of us would be able to stop them. Moreover, there is still that so-called Shao Gate. Its founder Xiao Yin is someone from the Inner Academy. This faction is clearly in cahoots with the Jianan Academy. Under the support of the Jianan Academy, the strength of Xiao Gate ridiculously expanded. If the Demon Flame Valley had not stepped forward to stop them in the past, it is likely that the limbs of Xiao Gate would have already intruded in front of everyone. Han Feng's dark and solemn voice slowly resonated over the open ground. However, the Demon Flame Valley is currently in a battered shape and would have difficulty contending with Xiao Gate in the future. Having lost the restraints of the Demon Flame Valley, Xiao Gate will swiftly expand. At that time, the ones who will be harmed will be everyone seated here. Han Feng smiled faintly and continued, Of course, if any one of you thinks that your sect possess an expert that exceeds the strength of Ancestor Ground Demon or can contend with the old Xi'an and old Bai demons from the Inner Academy, you can naturally choose to ignore all I have to say. Otherwise, you can only choose to submit to Xiao Gate or be destroyed in the future. Some uproar was successfully stirred from Han Feng's alarmist words. Xiao Gate was a faction that had rose during the last few years. Most of the old factions did not wish to accept such a new faction within their hearts. Asking them to submit to such a faction was quite a difficult task. May I know what kind of plan Mr. Han Feng has to deal with this? A human figure suddenly stood up and asked when everyone was in an uproar. Everyone's eyes focused on Han Feng after hearing the words of this person. 
Since Han Feng had opened his mouth, it was likely that there should be some matter he was getting at. Anyone who could make a name for himself in this black corner region was not a fool. They naturally understood that Han Feng would not spend a great effort to summon them all to this place just to scare them. Mo Tian Xing and Old Ying Shan glanced at the human figure, and ridicule flashed across their eyes. It was really not easy for Han Feng to enact this show. Han Feng smiled when he saw the gazes being gathering on him again. He first obscurely threw a satisfied gaze to that human figure, after which he arranged his clothes and smiled as he said, with the strength of the Jianan Academy and Shao Gate, it is likely that not a single faction in the Black Corner region is able to contend with them alone. Therefore, in order to protect one's safety, one would have to abandon any prejudice and form an alliance to fight the enemy together. An alliance? Most of the people present understood Han Feng's intention after hearing this phrase. Everyone knew that the Demon Flame Valley had a blood feud with the Jianan Academy as well as Shao Gate. Currently, the Demon Flame Valley was seriously battered. If the other party were to launch a campaign and attack, it was likely that the Demon Flame Valley would be eliminated from the Black Corner region. However, if the Demon Flame Valley was to join with the many factions in the Black Corner region, it would mean that over half of the Black Corner region would be joined together. It was likely that even the Jianan Academy and Shao Gate would not dare be reckless. Sec leader Mo and Olding Shan are in agreement with the matter regarding the formation of an alliance. This also provides the greatest protection to everyone. After all, who will not be afraid in the future with Xiao Gate looking on menacingly by the side? Han Feng spoke in a faint voice as he looked over the open ground which had become much quieter. Numerous gazes turned to Mo Tian Xing and Olding Shan when they heard this. These two people possessed a great reputation within the Black Corner region. Moreover, the two of them were genuine elite dozongs. If these two agreed to this alliance, the strength of this alliance would likely be somewhat frightening. Thus, they really need not be afraid of the Jianan Academy and Xiao Gate. Moreover, since it was an alliance, there must be an alliance chief. The person for this commander's position was really difficult to choose. After all, who did not want to take it? Kuku, the matter of the alliance is only a suggestion of mine. Whether it succeeds or not depends on everyone here. Han Feng played with the teacup in his hand and softly laughed. However, if Xiao Gate were to really come seeking power, it would be best that everyone quickly surrender and submit if they do not wish to die. The faces of quite a number of people changed after Han Feng's words sounded. Their brows were knit. Xiao Gate's expansion was incredibly fast. This was indeed a thorn in many people's heart. However, they lacked the will if they were to ask to fight against Xiao Yan now. After all, no one could ignore the powerful strength of Xiao Yan displayed in front of them. While everyone was considering the trade-off, a clear applause suddenly sounded within the open ground. Immediately, a clear laugh was transmitted to everyone. Chief Han really understand the times. According to what you have said, should the current you not let everyone to kneel and surrender now? The sudden laughter caused everyone to feel shocked. They immediately turned their heads and their eyes swung toward the entrance of the open ground. A large group of people with fierce auras all over their bodies were slowly entering. Leading the group was a black-robed, young man, who was wearing a smile as he slowly walked in. As they looked at the black-robed, young man, almost everyone seated instantly recognized this extremely renowned young. All of them let out an involuntary cry. The cry carried some panic as it resounded over the area. At this moment, Xiao Yan's face, which was covered with smiles, had instantly turned into a vicious and sinister one. Han Feng's gaze was dense as he watched Xiao Yan's group slowly walk into the open ground. This was especially the case when he did not discover the existence of old Qian and old Bai. The cold glow in his eyes suddenly soared. Xiao Yan, it is unexpected that you actually possess the guts to deliver yourself here. Do you really treat everyone seated here like grass? Han Feng slowly stood up from his seat and coldly laughed. While he spoke, he quietly threw a look to an expert from the Demon Flame Valley, ordering him to swiftly gather the guards from the Demon Flame Valley. The only person I am against is Han Feng in the Demon Flame Valley. It has nothing to do with anyone else. However, if an outsider intervenes, I will naturally not show any mercy. Xiaoyan slowly walked to the open ground. His soft sha sha footsteps caused quite a number of people seated to feel a pressure. After the matter that had caused an uproar some time, 
Xiaoyan's fierce reputation had become even greater within the Black Corner region. Hence, no one dared to underestimate this man, who looked quite young. You need not inform the guards from outside of the Demon Flame Valley. We already got rid of them when we entered. The quiet action of Han Feng did not escape Xiaoyan's notice. The latter immediately smiled. His smile emitted a bloody scent. Han Feng and the many Demon Flame Valley experts were stunned when they heard this. Han Feng immediately and furiously cried out, What a vicious little fellow! Do you really intend to kill off the Demon Flame Valley and not leave anything alive? Xiaoyan smiled faintly. His voice was calm as he replied, When the Demon Flame Valley attacked some of the innocent students from the Jianan Academy, it should have expected something like this to happen. Although the Jianan Academy dislikes a massacre, she is not foolish enough to be kind to her enemies. Han Feng narrowed his eyes. A cold glint and killing intent surged within them. Majestic Do Chi lingered over his body. Under the pressure of the Do Chi, even the tough table in front of him began to split with a cracking sound. Looks like you have really come here with the intention of destroying the Demon Flame Valley today. However, it is likely that this plan of yours has gone wrong. With sect leader Mo and old Ing Shan present, you, as a younger generation, are not allowed to act presumptuously. If you are tactful, you should obediently hand over the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva. Han Feng cried out in a sinister manner. Xiaoyan's eyes moved and turned to Mo Tian Xing and old Ing Shan by the side. One could neither hear joy nor anger in his tone as he inquired, Does sect leader Mo and old Ing Shan plan to stand on the side of the Demon Flame Valley and Han Feng? Su Qian and the little fairy doctor behind Xiao Yan stepped forward softly while Xiao Yan spoke. Their eyes locked onto Emo Tian Xing and Old Ing Shan. There was a sense that they would break into a fight at the first disagreement. Xiao Yan's sudden appearance had clearly exceeded the expectations of Emo Tian Xing and Old Ing Shan. Due to the old ground demon ghost, their hearts were quite afraid of him. This was especially the case with Su Qian and the little fairy doctor, two elite Dozong supporting him. The aura of these two people involuntarily weakened a little. Chief Xiao, the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva really possesses too much of an attraction to the both of us. Han Feng has used this as an item of persuasion, and the two of us had difficulty rejecting him. Mo Tian Xing gently rubbed his beard and slowly responded. If you are willing to hand the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva over, the two of us will leave immediately. We will not intervene in the matter between you and Han Feng. Olding Shan's gaze locked onto Xiao Yan as he spoke with a deep voice. A fury immediately surged in Han Fang's heart when he heard these words of these two old fellows. These two fellows' words clearly indicated that they had the intention to give in. It was fine if this occurred during an ordinary time. However, Han Feng still needed to borrow their force to form an alliance. By showing their fear in front of Xiao Yan, the other factions and experts would definitely show some intention of withdrawing. Han Feng's gaze swept over the grounds as this thought flashed in his heart. He did indeed discover that some expert's eyes had begun to avoid him. It seemed that the mighty arrival of Xiao Yin had caused quite a number of people to be afraid of participating in this matter. Xiao Yin was noncommittal to Imo Tian Xing's and Old Ing Shan's words. The Bodhisattva body transformation saliva was an essential ingredient in order to be used to help the little fairy doctor control her woeful poison body. Hence, it was impossible for him to hand it over. It appeared that an intense battle was unavoidable today. Today is the settling of a grudge between Shao Gate and the Demon Flame Valley. I hope that anyone not involved will not join in. Anyone who does not stand on the Demon Flame Valley's side will be Shao Yan's and Shao Gate's friend. I, Shao Yan, am still quite friendly to my friends. However, if my enemy is before me, I will definitely eliminate them at their roots. Xiao Yin climbed the open ground that was built from black metal rock. His aura had suddenly rose as his soft cry clearly resounded beside the ears of everyone present. The expressions of quite a number of people changed a little as they sensed the powerful aura that spread from Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan's current strength had already reached a six-star Dou Wang. Adding the effect of flame mantra and the heavenly flames, the strength of the force was sufficient to contend with an expert at the peak of the Dou Huang class. Other than Han Feng and a couple of others who were not influenced by it, the remaining people felt a muffled feeling of a large rock blocking their chest. A surprise flashed across the eyes of Han Feng, Mo Tian Xing, and the others in the face of Xiao Yan's even more powerful aura. 
After they sensed it carefully, they finally understood that Xiao Yan's strength had advanced a little within these few months. Although his strength had only been raised by one star, this speed was quite terrifying. We cannot allow this fellow to act so mightily without any fear. A coldness flashed across Han Feng's eyes. He turned his head and threw a look toward the gold silver elders beside him. The gold silver elders hesitated for a moment after receiving Han Feng's look. They immediately flashed forward in unison before gently landing on the open ground. Powerful force surged out before finally blocking Xiao Yan's aura. The hearts of the two of them clearly knew that they were unaware of Xiao Yan's true level. All they knew was that he possessed some extremely frightening Do technique. As long as Xiao Yin did not use these Do techniques, the Gold Silver Elders had the confidence to hold him back. However, their understanding of Xiao Yin came from their exchange a couple of years ago. Now, if they were to use the same method to measure him, it was likely that they would pay quite a hefty price. Chief Xiao, today is the day where the Demon Flame Valley has invited guests. Those who have come uninvited should leave. The Gold Silver Elders cupped their hands to Xiao Yin as they cried out in cold voices. The instant the two people's words sounded, the slight sound of thunder suddenly spread across the sky. Immediately a pair of long hands grabbed the necks of the two from behind. The bodies of the two people stiffened abruptly the moment the somewhat icy hand landed on their necks. Shock slowly solidified on their faces. The two of you no longer have the qualifications to speak to me in this manner. A young face slowly extended out from behind the two of them. The force on his hands gradually increased. At this moment, all he needed to do was to exert a little force in order to break the necks of these two people on the spot. What? What frightening speed? How can a Do Huang achieve such a speed? The entire place became quiet as they looked at the black-robed, young man who had appeared behind the gold-silver elders as though he had teleported. Surprised voices involuntarily sounded. At this moment, Xiao Yin maintained his stance with both his hands clenched around the neck of the gold-silver elders. A pair of ten-foot-long bone wings slowly flapped behind him. Each time the bone wings flapped, the slight sound of thunderous roar would appear in the air. A slight wind would also spread with the flapping of the bone wings. Xiao Yan's speed reached a level where even an ordinary elite Dozong had difficulty matching him after unfurling his jade bone wings. Adding this to the ignorance of the gold-silver elders, Xiao Yin had easily restrained them at the first contact. This kind of visual assault gave everyone an enormous shock. Under the provocation of the vague killing intent that spread from behind them, the forehead of the gold-silver elders emitted a dense, cold perspiration. Their bodies did not dare to even tremble a little. They could clearly sense a hidden force lingering on Xiao Yan's palm. Once this force was unleashed, they, who lacked any defense, would likely lose their lives on the spot. Chief, Chief Xiao, please, please show mercy. The gold elder swallowed his saliva and spoke with a quivering voice. He did not even show the slightest hint of the imposing manner from earlier. Xiao Yan's thunderbolt-like assault had left behind a phobia in their hearts that was difficult to remove. Only now did they understood that the strength of the current Xiao Yan was ahead of them. Actually, the two of them were unaware that had they not been careless by failing to put up any defenses, Xiao Yin would have difficulty restraining them in the blink of an eye even if he possessed a frightening speed comparable to a dozo. In the end, it was these two old fellows who were careless. These two fools. They clearly understand that Xiao Yin is not an ordinary Do Huang, yet they actually dared to be this careless. Han Feng's facial skin twitched with great force as he sat on his head. He had similarly not expected the Gold Silver Elders to be defeated at first contact. Would this not end up bestowing Xiao Yin an opportunity to deter everyone? He involuntarily cursed angrily within his heart. M.O.T. An Xing and Old Ying Shan frowned as they looked at the pair of jade bone wings from under the leader's seat. With their eyesight, they were naturally able to tell that the reason Xiao Yin possessed such a frightening speed was because of the effect of the bone wings. Moreover, they clearly remembered that Xiao Yin's speed was far inferior to this during their first exchange. M.O.T. An Xing knit his brows as he stared at the extremely familiar bone wings. A moment later, he finally recalled something. Was this pair of bone wings not the bone wings from the magical beast corpse that Xiao Yin had obtained from the auction? It was unexpected that the magical beast corpse that they had deemed to be useless would actually be fiddled with by Xiao Yin until it possessed such a frightening impact. From the looks of it, M.O.T. An Xing had really suffered extreme losses from this transaction. Damn it. I was taken advantage by this brat. 
Emoti on Xing's heart released such a thought as he stared at the bone wings with heated eyes. 